Hi guys, welcome back to my channel with Lizette Melendez. If you are completely new to my channel, welcome. And today I'm actually obviously doing um, an intro and Q slash Q and A, which I probably should have been done, but I'm doing it now. So this is the perfect way if you guys are new to get to know me. Um, so I asked on my social media, Snapchat and Instagram, to ask me questions about myself so I can do this video. So I did get a few questions, but before I get into those questions, uh, there were a lot of things that weren't asked. So I'm just going to go ahead and tell you the, the basics about myself. So as you guys know, my name is Lizette Melendez. I am Mexican. Um, what else? <laughs> I did turn just 29 this month. So yeah, I'm from California. Uh, one of the questions actually was, so I guess I'm going to start with the questions, but... <coughs> Sorry, I'm a little sick, so if I start getting cough attacks, my bad. <coughs> okay, so let me just get to, let me just uh, get to my questions right quick. Okay, so I was born in Oakland, California, and it says where was I born and where are, where are my parents from? So I will... My dad was born in Oakland, California as well, and we were born in the same hospital, which I think is pretty cool. And my mom is from Mexico. She was born there and everything. They're from both sides of my dad and mom's family are from the same place in Mexico, um, Nayarit, Isla del Rio. So that's where we from. So I think that's pretty cool because usually parents are from like two different um, parts from Mexico. But my family's from the same. And so, yeah. Another, the second question was, what are my major turn-ons and my turn-offs? So for turn-ons, I'm going to say... I l like I like cleansingness. They you have to be like clean. Like if I see your hella dirty, that's a turn off. Um, an honest person. I think that's a major one. Nobody wants to like hang out or be around someone who's always lying, right? Um. An honest, clean, and someone who has good vibes, like that can make me laugh and have a good time. <laughs> um, definitely a turn on. I can hang out with those kind of people all the time. So yeah, my those are my major turn ons. And my turn offs was obviously someone dirty, like super dirty. I mean, I'm not the cleanest all the time, but yeah. Um, dirty, a liar, I can't stand hanging out with people that are always lying and talk out of their ass. Um, like just be real, like I like it when people are a hunt, that keep it 100, 100. <laughs> so yeah, I, a, a liar is a major turn off and... I'm gonna have to go. Oh, another major turn off. I don't know. I should have thought of these questions before I started this. Um, someone that just doesn't take care of themselves, I guess. Like, mm, that just never works out or looks out for their health or anything like that. 
I would say. <clears throat> Next one. My favorite TV show. Mm, my favorite, my one of my favorites was Gossip Girl, and that one's pretty famous. So a lot of you girls, I'm sure, know about it. If you haven't, I definitely recommend it. Gossip Girl is a pretty good one. Right now, I am currently watching uh, a novela. So if you girls know your Spanish or Latinas or whatever. Uh, you should definitely check it out. It's also on Netflix. It's called Sinceno Si Hay Paraíso. But the first one, it's three seasons, I guess. The first one is Sinceno No Hay Paraíso. And it's a really good show. I really like it. <laughs> Catalina is my fave. She's like the baddest girl. Like, looks and everything. Nobody tops her in my book. <laughs> So far, um, so yeah. What else? I know there's another show. I don't know. For the those are the ones that are, that are my fave. Uh, my favorite food is um, Mexican and Italian. Those are my favorite foods. I love me some. Chicken, fettuccine, alfredo, shrimp, tortellinis, lasagna, pizza, and um, for Mexican, everything. I love it all. I love me some seafood, of course. Some shrimp, lobster, crabs. Mm -hmm. I know it's pretty pricey, but yep my religion so oh the next one was if i have any tattoos or piercings so this one kind of goes with religion because i do not have any pier i mean i do not have any tattoos and i think they're cool there's obviously a lot of like really nice artwork that is done but i always feel like we should just leave our bodies as they are like let's try to be especially for as a girl like i want to be classy and you know like i um i also believe that um i'm not the most religious person but i believe that we are god's masterpiece and that you know he he made us we our bodies is his so why would we want to destroy something that he made i don't know if i make any sense but i'm not the most religious person like i said i don't believe just because i don't have any tattoos that i'm gonna make it to heaven or anything like that i just know that if that's not what god likes or wants like why would i want to disappoint him if i already know that so yeah and my religion is, um, I don't really go to church right now, but I do believe in the Christianity. I believe in God so much, and uh, I do believe maybe uh, one day I can go back to church and get um, a lot closer to God. I do have a relationship with Him. I pray every day. I thank God for everything that I have, my family, my friends, and I pray for every single person that I care for and even that I, the people that I don't. So, uh, yeah, I do believe in God and that, that He is my religion. He, yeah, whatever. You know what I mean. Uh, his relationship means a lot to me. And... The next one, favorite things to do for fun. So a lot of you guys can see I'm into makeup. I love to work out. Um, I love to be with my friends. I do like to drink. Um, I know that's not a good one, especially since I want to be a Christian, but I'm not perfect. I'm a human being. Um, as long as you do it decently and don't do anything dumb i don't know i feel like it's kind of okay in my book 
um i like to go shopping duh <laughs> who doesn't i love to go shopping and doing uh shopping hauls is a fun thing for me so i've actually shopped a lot and i keep saying oh for our, i could do a shopping haul and i never do them so i want to do more of those videos they're fun they're fun to do and fun to watch i feel um oh yes and another favorite thing it's more like a passion i love to sing I've always sang since elementary. I've been in choir every year that I've been in school. So that that's a I don't feel like I'm the best, but I can. So just maybe one day I can upload a video of me singing. Maybe. <laughs> All right, let's see. Next one, my best friend. Easy, my husband. <laughs> Um, that's the safest answer, right? Um, my best friend, yes, is my husband. <coughs> Sorry. Mm, because ever since I met him, we actually, he actually started, that's how we started our relationship. He was just my friend. And he became my best friend. Sorry, I keep messing with my hair. He was always there for me i don't know we just click we like to do the same things he makes me laugh he's not dirty he's somewhat he takes care of himself so he's kind of like all those things that i said that was a turn on he's really goofy you know like that i could be myself around him um yeah i think that's like the key if you want to like the key to like stay together with someone is uh marry your best friend because you're with each other like a lot so you have to enjoy each other's company and i mean sometimes we don't want to be around each other i know sometimes i just need my space i don't know about him but i do so we we do try to like give each other some space but for the most part we like being with each other we enjoy all the same things so and we could talk to each other about anything. So, yeah. He's my best friend. Did I go to college? And if so, for what? Mm, I took... I for... Okay, I went to junior college for a few semesters. And then I, I dropped out. Because I was dumb back then. You feel like four years is so long. Blah, blah, blah. So I wanted to do something shorter. So I went to beauty school. I was like, I love makeup. I love hair. I thought that was what I wanted to do. So I did that. But I graduated, but I never passed my state board. And I never went back. So maybe one day like, I could still go back and get my license. But I just don't feel like that's what I want to do right now. Like I just, I really don't like working with the public. People are so picky. I don't know. Like, I can't deal with the public. But if it came down to when I had to, I would. I would. Um, how long have you and your husband been together? We have been together since 2007. I met him in 2006. We were friends. And... In 2007, we became official, I guess. Towards the end, I want to say. I don't know. It was a, it's a long story. One day, I can share with you guys in detail. Because, man, me and that guy have been through a lot. <laughs> Who doesn't, right? But it's a pretty cool. Mm, not very cool, but interesting story. So, yeah, since 2007... And we probably been we did split up like twice, once for like two months in 2011, and then for a whole year, like 2015, 16. So that was an experience. I think we just we've been together for so long that like we needed uh, maybe a break or 
to explore how it was to be single because he's the only one that I've really been with seriously so it worked out for the best I believe everything happens for a reason anyways next moving on why did I name my son Joseph um I don't know uh my my husband had a hard time choosing a name like I had so many names that I liked so for the longest we couldn't find one and I got tired of that my son didn't have a name so one night I just gave him a list of names that I liked and he that's the one he chose I would I kind of wanted Leonardo because I think it sounds like sexy like ooh Leonardo and it starts with an L, so I kind of would have I would have liked to name my kids with an L, cause for to match me, I don't know. But since he was close to his grandfather who passed away, Joseph was his name, so he picked that one, and I liked it. It was one of the ones I chose, so it worked out. Now he's my little JoJo that I call him. So yes. And how many more kids do I want? Uh, I would say, if it's up to, I don't know, I, I would like to be done just with one. Because my JoJo is a handful. They're bad. It's, it's a lot of work. A lot of stress. Like, it's not even the financial part. It's just the stress, really, of the whole daycare. Who's going to watch them? We never have free time. It's just hard. If you if you're a parent, you know what I mean. But I feel I'd feel selfish not giving him another sibling cuz I grew up being an only child. Pretty much I've always had to look out for myself, do things on my own. So that's how I've always been. So it has its ups and downs cuz being on my own, I got everything for myself. But at the end I had no no one had my back which made me stronger, I believe. So I guess being on your own makes you stronger. You're more independent, but I think it would be nice for him to have a sibling and experience that because I never had that really. So I guess I'm planning on, I would like to give my son another sibling. So one, one more to answer that question. And if an oopsie happens for the third one, Yes, but I'd rather just stay with two. <laughs> um, and why did I want to start YouTube? This is my last question, by the way. Um, I wanted to start YouTube a long time ago, like years ago, but I don't know why I never did it. I was hella younger. Um, I don't know, I just felt like I always, everything had to be perfect. That was how my mind mentality was. And it's, I feel like it still somewhat is. But I always felt like, oh, I need to have lighting. I need to have the space. I need, everything needs to be perfect. So I just kept saying, next year, next year. And every year, that was always like one of my goals to start a YouTube channel because I, I love to do it. But I just kept putting it off at year after year so this year i was like you know what i'm just gonna do it i started i did my first video with no good lighting at all uh an old camera that i had which i still use and the backdrops like you could just buy an amazon and uh, i did buy my little um my my, my back light and it's not even that expensive. It's just, it's just the hard part is just starting. So it just I just went out. I just went for it and started. So yeah, that completes this video. I hope you guys got to know me more now that I answered these questions because I also want to start uh, posting some vlog personal vlogs. So I didn't want to just jump into them without you really getting to know me or really for me never to ah sorry cat dog for me to not really introduce myself the right way so there you go if you have any more questions 
just comment below and I'll answer. I don't mind. So thank you very much. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And you know what? Ring that little uh, bell next to the subscribe button. So that way you can get notified every time I make a video. It does help. <laughs> Alright, so thank you very much. You guys have a great day.